on in, Uncle Carter. It's late, dear. I thought you had a date for tennis. What time is it? Quarter after ten. Don't you feel well? I didn't sleep well last night. I... I'll call your friends and tell them you can't make it today. So real. So it actually happened. What, dear? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Positive. Wow, quarter after ten? I have to hurry. Well, if you're all right, I'll go down and start work. And have more than coffee for breakfast. Eggs. Or something substantial. Can't. Form is half the game. In tennis or anything else. <laughs> Ready, Oliver? What, to waste another day? Let's not start up that way. Come on. If you let me have a key, I could have been at work an hour ago. We'll start today by using acid pencil to hold the formula together. Well, it won't work. Will you stop saying that? No matter what I want to try, you take a negative attitude. Oliver, do you want to quit? Say so. Just say you quit and go. And who would you get for an assistant? Hmm? It would take weeks to train someone to carry on this experimentation. No, Carter. You're stuck with me for the time being. You know it. Oliver, please. I'm on the threshold of developing this drug. It would be a boon to mankind. Think what it would be like to be able to wipe out all destructive cells and organisms that plague man. No disease. No destructive tissue or growth. Man would be ageless. I'm afraid you're on the wrong track. Your formula may work on internal cells, but it causes violent disfigurement to sensitive exposed skin areas. How do you know? We haven't even tested it on specimens yet. And the lab is not the place for guesswork. Now let's get to work. I tell you, I did see her. Tell the truth, I was in shade to see a couple of monsters myself after I left you. Honestly, I did see her. John, the minute you drove your car away, this, this monster comes flying right at me. Oh, now she was flying. Before, she was just running. Oh, I mean running. Honest, we just went to a movie last night. I didn't give this girl one single drink. As sure as I'm sitting here. I was afraid she was going to kill me or something. Look, Susie, let's suppose for a minute that you did see something. I tell you, I did see her. Well, then why didn't you call the police or tell your folks about it? Yeah. And you know it's the duty of every citizen to report monsters whenever they see them. Mm -hmm. Very funny. You know I couldn't say anything. I wasn't even supposed to go out last night. My folks went to a party and I promised I'd stay home. And believe me, I'd rather face a monster than to get my dad mad at me. <laughs> Hi. I'm Shannon Flower. My girl. Oh, sorry I'm late. Susie's been entertaining us with horror stories. It's not a story. It happened. I have that effect on her. The minute she leaves me, she gets nightmares. There's nothing to laugh about. I had one myself last night. But this really happened. It was terrible. Don let me off in front of my house last night, and this monster starts running right at me. She had on a blue negligee, but her face was horrible. It looked like it would scare you to death. Are we going to play tennis, or are we going to tell fairy tales? Wait a minute. Susie, what did she look like exactly? Well, her skin was almost blue and cracked. And wrinkled, and, and her nose was all sunken in, and it was just awful. Her mouth, ugh, that's strange. Come on, honey, let's give him something big to worry about. We'll take you in straight set. You want to make a little wager on that, old man? Johnny, everybody, I'm sorry, I don't feel like that. I'm sorry. Trudy, 
What is all this? Aren't we going to play? You two go ahead. Trudy? Well, I guess the two of us do the tennis bit. Unless uh, you'd like to do uh, something else. What's the matter, honey? Hey, come on, it's me, Johnny Bruder. Boy time boyfriend, remember? That story Susie told. Oh, look, forget it, will you? Susie will be important if it kills her. <laughs> It'll probably kill Don. Johnny, it's as though Susie and I had the exact same dream. Oh, honey, come on. But I saw that monster, too. I did. It was so real. It was almost too real to be a dream. I thought you stayed home last night. I did. Uncle Carter went out, and I decided to read a book. Then Oliver Frank came into the study, and we had some fruit punch he made. I felt tired and went to bed. And then a woman, a horrible woman. Trudy, I could expect a story like that from Susie, honey, but not from you. But it was so real. Look, do you want to go back and play tennis? Johnny, don't be mad. No, of course not. Why should I be? I'm going with a grown-up girl who decides to believe in dreams. Come on, I'll take you home. It's no good. Well, I could have told you that. Even if it did work, it's only temporary. Oliver, I wish I understood you. This is my experiment. You are assisting me. Yet you seem to think you know more about it than I do. Well, that's entirely possible. Want to quit for tonight? We have been working together for months. Yet I know nothing about you. Where are you from? What schools did you attend? You know your way about the lab. That much is clear. Look, we agreed. No questions asked. Yes. Who is it? Me, Mr. Morton. Also. I put the new gravel on the driveway. Well, all right. Why bother me now? That gardener. It's going to drive me to distraction. I'll have to look around for a new one. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like him. Doesn't bother anybody. I somehow get the impression he is uh, spying on me. I might as well throw this out. No. Save it. I'm sure that if I could get Die General as a catalyst, it would work. Look, Carter, you can't get any Die General. Forget it. I can get some of the Rockwell Labs. They won't let you within a mile of that place. I'll get it. Don't you worry. I'll get it. Nothing is going to stop me from completing this experiment. Carter, don't get in any trouble. I am touched at your concern for me. If you get in trouble, it'll bring the police here. And we don't want that, do we? I have nothing to fear from the authorities. Have you? he did offer you the flower. Evening, Trudy. I'm going out and get what we spoke about.
What are you reading? A magazine. That's all I see. Oh, relax. You're too tense. Stop it. Oh, now, Trudy. We're good friends, aren't we? Hmm? Been living under the same roof all these months? I said stop it. If you don't, I've got to tell Uncle Carter. Well, there's no reason why we can't be sociable. It's not. After all, I'm only human. You'd have to prove it to me. Just what I'm proposing. Where are you going? In the pool for a swim. And I'd suggest you take a cold shower. Another car came before I had a chance to get everything. You fool! I have no use for that. You've wasted my time. It's the head I need. Everything's ready except for the brain. Like I said, this other car came before I had a chance. Oh, stop muttering. Anybody see you? I swear no one, Mr. Frankenstein. The name is Frank. Frankenstein is a very honorable name. I was proud to serve your father. Well, of course it is. For the time being, I prefer that nobody knows who I am. I was only a boy when your grandfather first created life from the dead. But I helped your father. I surely did. Father to son. That's the way it should be. The advances of science and these notes of my father, I will succeed in creating a perfect being. But to do this, we must have the vital organs. Do you understand? And we are not working tonight? No. Return the body to the storage unit. Right here, take this with you. And one more thing. My name is Frank. Mr. Frank. Remember that. Why do you do this to her? And as Carter's formula, if it does what he claims it will, I can preserve the cells of my creation. It's not proven yet. Will you drink it? What other way to test it, then? I've given the girl smaller amounts before, but the reactions were only temporary. some punch and we'll drink to a truce, okay? Once and for all. It's a promise. Oh, let me slip into my robe first. 
water teeter. I wish the air was. Well? Oh, I, I put sugar in one of them, and I take it sour. Well, here's to you keeping your promise. Right. I think I got the sour one. Well, maybe I forgot to put sugar in both of them. Well, go ahead. A toast doesn't mean anything unless you drain your glass. Say one thing for you, Oliver. You sure make a lousy fruit punch. The one last night was just as bad. I'd better go to my room. from a gas station or a bar. Oh. All right. All right, I'll send the car out. Yep. I got it. All right. Gas station attendant out of Finley and Kyoga. He says that a uh, gal in a bathing suit tried to uh, attack him. <laughs> He's complaining. <laughs> so she had the head of a monster. I well, can't hardly get those bathing beauty monsters anymore. <laughs> I've got the details on it. Lieutenant Boyle. Now, wait a minute, lady. Calm down. In a bathing suit. Let me have your address. Uh, what's the nearest cross street? All right, we'll have a car right out there. Right. An epidemic of monsters are being invaded by space people. Hey, this lady lives around the corner from that gas station. Said a creature looked in her window. Had on a bathing suit. Probably some kids fooling around. Yeah, maybe so. We better get them before somebody gets hurt. What happened? The mixture I gave Trudy affected her more than I expected. She's wilder than ever before. Oh, well, you shouldn't experiment with her. Stop jabbering and help me with this antidote. I gotta give her an injection before she tears the town apart and brings the whole police force here. In the bathing suit. Where is she now? Well, she crept into my apartment. I don't know. Please get well, her. I'll take care please. of this lady, will you please? Please get her. Look at that. Holy! 
seen the newspaper? Some sort of a monster was seen around town last night. Oh, well, that's all? If it isn't flying saucers, they're seeing monsters. Oh, I don't know. It could be true. Rubbish. Like the myths and the legends of the Dark Ages. These are headlines to sell newspapers, my boy. Next, they'll make a comparison between ghouls and Dracula. I wouldn't be surprised if they dragged in the Frankenstein creation. Frankensteins were no myth. They were respected doctors of science. Quite possible. But I'm afraid their accomplishments were, shall we say, exaggerated a bit. Well, that's what you say. But they were geniuses. They had talents that ran in the family strain, passed on from father to son, and now to that father's son. Look, you researched to prevent death. The Frankensteins were masters who brought life from death, and that's a true achievement. Oliver, you're a strange boy. Oh, you call anything you don't understand strange. No matter. Let's get to work. I accomplished a great deal last night. Did I, General? Enough to complete the experiment. How did you get that? That's no concern of yours. Well, you done anything to bring the police here? Oliver, I'm sick of your exploding at me. This is my home. You're assisting me in my lab. Stop trying to tell me what to do. If you can't take orders, leave. All right, let's get to work. you, I'll let you in on any new developments. Yeah, Arnold down to the lab can fill you in on that one. What's the matter? Can't your boss afford another dime? Transfer this downstairs to Arnold, please. All right. Well, you can see, Mr. Rockwell, they're on my back. So any information you can give us will be a big help. Well, I don't claim to be a detective. I'm a chemist, president of Rockwell Laboratory. We had a theft last night. Uh, someone broke in our research lab and stole some digeneral. It's a drug we've been trying to perfect for a number of years. We have a report on it. Yes, well, right now that drug is very dangerous. How do you mean dangerous? Well, like I say, it's not perfected yet. As it is now, it degenerates tissues and cells. In the wrong hands, it could seriously disfigure anyone who might take it internally. Are you trying to say this drug could have made our monster? Well, like I said, I don't claim to be a detective. But you can take it for what it's worth. It's just a thought. Well, I can't afford to overlook any bets. We'll come out to your plant and see what we can come up with. That general. What's that? You fool. Help me try and salvage some of it. Oliver, help me. Oh, the guy general gone. I can't work anymore today. Everything is going wrong. I'm sorry, Carter. That, that noise we heard a minute ago, it startled me. I didn't know what it could have been. And I had such hopes for that guy general. I think I'll lie down in my room. I am sorry. Well, I'll get it. Hi. Judy here? Oh, she's around somewhere. Probably out at the pool. And, uh, I'll show you the way. Thanks. I'll find her. crazy around here. So I dreamt about a monster woman, did I? Did you see today's paper? No. Well, here. It just so happened. 
take a look. Susie. John called me six times this morning. I wouldn't even talk to him. The way he made fun of me the other day when I told him about this monster woman. Somehow I think I was that creature. I can see her running through the streets. Her body was mine, but the face. I'm sure it was me. Now look, honey, don't try and top me. I saw that monster woman first. Don't get green-eyed. Something makes me feel sure of it. Thanks a lot, Trudy. First you took Johnny away, and now you're after glory. You don't care what the price is. I mean this. You want everything. I never wanted to take anything from you. Tell me something. Uh, who was that Ivy Leaguer I ran into in the front of the house? Ivy Leaguer? Oh, you mean Oliver Frank. He's my uncle's assistant. And you have him on the string, too, I suppose. You've been a very busy little girl, Trudy. Well, I don't want to argue. Well, maybe I feel like cutting on you for a change. Don't. I have to talk to you alone. I have to talk to somebody. Talk to Johnny. He's all yours. What gives with her? Found Trudy, all right. Do we have to talk about her? No. Not if you have something better to talk about. I have something better. You also have a name? Susie Lawler. How about an address? 2720 West Portland. You'll be home around 8 o'clock tonight? No. At 8 o'clock, I'll be waiting for you at the corner of Portland and Henry Street. But I have this feeling it was more than a nightmare. Honey, the day someone as pretty as you turns into a monster, well, then the moon is going to come down in my backyard. Look, the first night Susie saw the monster woman, she was wearing a negligee, the same kind I slept in. Last night, she wore a bathing suit. Well, that's what I woke up in this morning. Well, what do you want to do, go to the police? I'll go with you if you do. No. If I can't convince you, they'll never believe me. All right, what do you want me to do? Just tell me and I'll do it. Only one thing, Johnny. All I want is for someone to believe me. I love you, honey. I want to marry you just as soon as I get that promotion to assistant manager. You want me to believe you? Okay, I'll try. It's always got to be honest with you, Trudy. I'll try, honey, okay? Okay. It was very stupid of you to enter through the secret door this morning. If I hadn't distracted Carter, he might have discovered that we were taking advantage of his unused wine cellar. Well, that happened again. Well, the incident's forgotten. Everything's in readiness for more important things now. We must procure the parts for our little experiment. Tonight? No, but soon. What are you doing in here? Well, I uh, left my cigarette lighter in here this morning. I came in to look for it. How did you get in? Well, the door was open. I just unlocked it to enter. Oh, you must be mistaken. Look. You've had a pretty rough day today, losing that day, General and all. You have to be confused under any of those conditions. I suppose you're right. But I felt I was so close to achieving the formula. Then to drop that bottle of Thai General. Well, tomorrow's another day. You didn't want to work tonight, did you? No, I have other plans. I have to get more Thai General. Carter, you were lucky the first time. Don't stretch it. I have to get it. I have to. All right. But promise me one thing. Hmm? Promise me you won't work in the lab here tonight. You've had a long day. All right. I promise. By the way, are you spending the evening at home? Oh, no, no. No, I'm not. 
I have a rather interesting engagement tonight. instead. How come you didn't like that? Why don't you join the group with the amateurs? Here it is. Look, let's just forget about it, huh? Take me home and we'll call it a night, okay? I mean, we can go back now. We'll see each other again, okay? Go home. Why'd you meet me on the corner instead of at your house? Well, I'm supposed to be home. What made you so ashamed to have me call at your house? Well, I wasn't supposed to go out tonight. I sneaked out. And no one knows you're with me. No, and if they did, they'd flip their lids. This head on the other body. Female. There's nothing been done. Don't stand around waiting. We have work to do. Hurry. Tonight you'll be alive again, you little vixen. That was a pretty good movie, wasn't it? Johnny, thanks. For what? A movie? For making this such a nice evening. For easing my fears and Helping me to feel like my old self again. Well, I don't think you'll have any nightmares tonight. Well, I suppose that's what they were. No, I won't have them. <laughs> Look, I'm putting the phone right next to the bed. Now, if you get scared, I want you to call me, okay? Remember now, if uh, even a tree branch scrapes against your window, I want you to call. I will. And thanks again. You bet. Nice. Nice. Carter? 
that you? sleep tonight and know the reason why. You don't get it and I know the reason. Oh no, not that bathing suit bit again. Or something tied to it. The watchman from the Rockwell Labs just called. Said someone broke in, he almost caught him. Did the thief get any more of that drug? That general. He said he took a shot at him but missed. Any description? No, but he said the man was elderly. All right. Let's get on out there. by now. We failed. Trudy! Olive! I think I hear a heartbeat, but it's so faint I can't be sure. I'll be all right. I was in the kitchen. I heard him calling for help. My heart. I'm all right now. I got this. I'll help you do your room. Oliver, you call a doctor. No, no. Don't call a doctor.
took me upstairs. Broken in. Who? Do you know who did this? She's alive. Well, Mac, only four more and we're through. My old lady just burnt me dinner's waiting for me. It's gonna cost him right over time to buy more chow. In that case, you better get lifting. Maybe you can beat her to the fourth one. Yeah, don't bet on it. Who's there? Come on out of there, I hear you. Wise guy, huh? That list of former employees had access to the research lab. I'm sure whoever got in there had possession of a key. Well, that figures. Unless it was an inside job. What's this? Well, it's a missing persons report on a Susie Lawler, teenager, been missing since late yesterday. I put a description on the wire. You want to check the other list for possibles tonight? No, first thing in the morning's okay. You better get on home before your family forgets what you look like. I'll see you in the morning. Lieutenant Boyle. Stick around, Dylan. Well, calm down, fella. Where are you? That monster again. It's the warehouse district on Beacon Road. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we'll dispatch the unit right away. Okay. A monster in a bathing suit? Yeah, only this time it's different. It's no prank. And there's a corpse out there to prove it. watching me as though you expected me to turn into a pumpkin any minute. It's nine o'clock. Won't you call tonight? You've worked so long today. All right, dear. I think I'll take a walk. It's such a beautiful evening. Aren't you seeing Johnny tonight? Well, I asked him to stop by. I didn't want to go out. Because of me? Well, you might need me. Trudy, dear, do me a favor. Ask some friends over. We got that beautiful barbecue outside. It's going to waste. And it was meant to be enjoyed. All right, Uncle Carter. 
I'll have the gang in in the next week or so. No. This week. Promise me. This week. I promise. This is serious. We have looked all over. Now I'm tired. I'm hungry. Get something to eat and go out again. She can't have gone far without someone seeing her. But, but I'm tired. Look, you. Uh, I'll fix the sandwich and go out again. What was that all about? Oh, uh, one of the neighbor's kids lost a little pup. Oh. Yeah, poor thing's wandering around. Might get hit by a car. We were trying to help find it. Johnny. Johnny? Johnny Bruder, a friend of mine. Sudden she keeled over in a faint. John. Easy. It was baby. awful. Easy. I, I opened the door and this, this thing was standing there. What thing? Oh, it was awful. I don't know what she's talking about. Nobody came in but you and the gardener, Johnny. You must have seen it. Seen what? This creature. Creature? Like I said, we were talking and she keeled over. Honey, I'm going to leave you alone for just a minute. You'll be all right? I'll be right back. Well, look, you better try and calm her down. She's upset about her uncle. Why? My old Carter had a little attack last night. Trudy's been worried about him. Poor kid. She's been under quite a strain. So that's it. Well, I knew she'd been having nightmares lately. Talks about nothing but monsters. Claims she's even seen them. Well, I'm going to do a little reading. You better try and keep her calm. I will, and thanks a lot. Feel better? Johnny, I didn't imagine it. You don't believe me. Honey, all this newspaper stuff about a monster woman, it's it's starting to get to you. This was different. Before, I thought I might have been that monster woman. But tonight, I saw her, and she was different. Don't you see what you're doing to yourself? You're letting it get all out of hand. Oh, I wish someone would believe me. You want to know what I think? I think Susie Lawler started this whole thing. Because she was the first one to claim that she saw the monster. Then she ran around town with a bathing suit and a mask trying to make the story stick. I'll tell you something else. She's disappeared. Disappeared? Mm -hmm. The whole phony story got so out of hand that she just took the easy way out and disappeared for a little while. She'll show up real suddenly with a new story to tell. Well, you might be right. Honey, I know I am. Dr. Frankenstein will be here. He'll make you feel stronger. Relax. She's magnificent. I think she understands when I speak to her. I told you to tie her up. Oh, she's very nice. She wouldn't make trouble. I want her tied up. If you say so. But she's nicer than the males your father and grandfather made. And I really think she understands. I'll have to leave her in this room for a few days until I can get rid of Carter. Get rid of him? He's a sick man, and I need the freedom of the lab. 
I have an idea he's going to have an attack. A fatal one. Now, have you got her secured? She may react violently to this. Take a rest out there now while Paige and the gang swing out on a little number that's dedicated to everybody with a special date. Pick you up around eight. Trying not to be late. It's so hard to do wait when you've got a special day. The hop is starting that night. she gets back. I think I'll go find him. He went out that way. Don? Don? I'm a monster. Gee, I, I was just trying to make her funny. I didn't mean to scare you. There's nothing to kid about. I'm sorry, Trudy. What happened? Well, it's my fault. I guess I just wasn't thinking. It's just that... Oh, never mind. It's okay, Don. I just haven't been myself lately. I'm all right, Don. But as for you... Hey, kids. Don has just agreed to sing for it. I don't want to sing. I'll teach you to go around scaring people. At 10 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, we'll start to rock, we'll start to rock. So hold me tight, so hold me tight, wish we could dance all night. If we could only pretend. <laughs> Never will I Never seem to get late When you're in love With a special day Get away from that window Do you want somebody to see you? Yeah, 
having too good a time to look after the house. She's been restless. Two days tied up like this. She needs to be freed. God, I've been in that lab from morning till night. I've got to get rid of him. Make it soon. This is no good for her. All that noise and excitement. Not good for a sick man. <sighs> Carter's going to have an attack. <sighs> Bad one. Tonight. <laughs> close to the final stages. The die general is going to work. <laughs> you nutty old man. What? I think you heard me. Now listen, Oliver. I've had just enough from you. And I from you. Only I'm going to do something about it. What are you doing? Very simple. I'm going to kill you. had that honor until a few moments ago. He no longer works for me. I'd like to talk to you both. In there. Is something wrong, Lieutenant? Mr. Martin, you used to work for the Rockwell Labs uh, in its research division, isn't that right? Yes. You were one of its trusted employees. You used to have a key to the lab? Yes, I used to. I begged you not to do it, Carter. Stay out of this. Well, let him talk. What did you beg him not to do? Well, Carter and I were carrying on a research program. He wanted to use Die General. I was against it. Is that right? Uh, yes, that part is. But he was determined to get the Die General. So he broke into the Rockwell lab or used his key. I begged him not to do it. I've never been in any trouble, Lieutenant. I didn't want to get in it. He never objected. He's been nothing but trouble since he started to work for me. Oh, Carter, you're upset. He rambles on, Lieutenant. He doesn't know what he's saying. He tried to kill me just now. He did? Oh, really? He did. He was starting to choke me when you came in. Lieutenant, do me a favor. Be gentle with him. Obviously, well, he's not exactly, you know. 
I want you out of this house tonight. Well, he can leave the house, but he better not leave town. I'll want your testimony. I'll help in any way I can, Lieutenant. And that's come with me, Mr. Morton. Another injection. This is a different one. See how wild she gets? Why make it fierce? I must learn what to expect from my creation. I'll control her every emotion. If need be, she'll kill for me. That is evil. From here on in, I decide what's evil. That wasn't the plan in the beginning. You said you wanted to accomplish the building of a human being. This is no good. It's worked out perfectly. Carter's being held by the police. I have free use of the lab, and you will help me out, too. No. Just three creatures to do my bidding. Get me what I need. Go. No! You refuse. The experiment is over. We have been successful. We can stop now. Why this conscience all of a sudden? I don't know. I just feel that I've had enough. That's all. Two times before I've seen this experiment end in disaster. We have proved the point. We have made a female being. She's more responsive to command. We have succeeded. Now it's over. Stay here. Easy now, easy. Then it's next month, huh? Let's make it the 11th for good luck. Baby, you're my good luck. I thought you went home, Johnny. After next month, no more good nights. We're engaged. Oh? Well, congratulations. It's too bad your uncle couldn't hear about this before they carted him off to jail. Jail? What are you talking about? He's been stealing from the Rockwell Laboratories, and they caught up with him. That's not so. Look, I warned him against trying it. I tried to stop him. Honey, maybe I'd better go down to headquarters and see what I can do. I'll go with you. No, I wouldn't advise that. It won't make Carter feel any better to have his niece see him in jail. This has nothing to do with you, Oliver. He's my uncle. But look, Trudy, whether you believe it or not, I'm very fond of the old boy. Seeing you will upset him. You know, honey, I think he's right. Maybe you better let me go. But, Johnny... Look, my father's a good lawyer. I'll stop by the house and take him with me. It'll be much better. You're marrying a smart boy, Trudy. Let me have it my way, huh? Will you call me from headquarters? The minute I get all the details. to celebrate an engagement. When did the police come? About a half hour ago. Why didn't you tell me then? I forgot to, I guess. You forgot? Oliver, what's been going on around here? Trudy, listen to me. Don't get involved with that boy. You know how I feel about you. Oliver, please. I can make you richer than you've ever dreamed. Listen to me, Trudy. No matter what you want, I can get it for you. Trudy, do you know who I am? I'm not just Oliver Frank. I'm Oliver Frankenstein. Let me go. And while your uncle was wasting his time on a trivial experiment, I was completing a masterful one. Could he listen to me? Let me go. All right, if that's what you wanted. Tell them who I am and what we've been doing, hmm? Unless you let Miss Trudy go. 
I can't let her go. She knows everything. And I can't let you go either, Elsie. Go. <laughs> I'll take care of it. I'm your friend. Kill him. Kill! No. 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 Kill! Kill! Can't I see him? My father's a lawyer. I called him at his club. He's coming right over. I'm sorry. Carter's had a relapse. He's in the hospital ward. If the doc says it's okay, you can see his lawyer, but no visitors, not yet. Oh, have her come in. Carter Morton's niece. Oh, John. It's all right, honey. It's all right. I thought it was horrible. What did you see, Miss Morton? The monster in my Uncle Blab. Oh, Johnny, it was gruesome. Here, sit down and calm yourself. You saw another monster, Miss Morton? In the lab. Oliver said his name wasn't Frank, but Frankenstein. He claimed he created the monster. He was going to kill me. He killed the gardener. I saw him. She's been under quite a strain. You don't have to make excuses for me. I tell you, I saw it. I saw it twice tonight. Uh, you know, uh, I might be out of my mind, but I believe her. Let's check with the doctor and see if we can talk to her uncle. Maybe he can shed some light on this. Too late for that. He just passed away. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Morton. But we'll go out to the Morton house. I want to check this Frank out. I suggest that you bring the girl out if she feels well enough. You sure you boys won't change your minds? It's good scotch. I'll say that for Carter. He appreciates the best. We're on duty now, thanks. Well, what will we drink to? Monsters? You believe in them, Mr. Frankenstein? Well, the name's Frank. What made you say Frankenstein? Why, uh, Miss Morton said you told her that that was your real name. <sighs> that poor girl's heading for a nervous breakdown, I'm afraid. She's been having nightmares lately, bad ones. Seems that quite a few other people in town are having the same nightmares. Quite an epidemic of sleepwalking. Can I see your identification, please? Well, why, Lieutenant? Because the Lieutenant asked for it, Mr. Frank. Or Frankenstein. Well, I don't happen to have it on me at the moment, but surely you don't believe that hysterical girl. Oh, that's the gardener upstairs. He lives in the servants' quarters. Uh, bring him down, Dylan. Uh, no, no, Oliver. I'll get him. Pretty jumpy, isn't he? He's lying about not being in that lab. There's a smell of chemicals coming from the foyer. And we took Morton downtown several hours ago. Someone has been in that lab within the past few minutes or so. Should we take him downtown? On what? No, we'll have to have more than this. Oh, I just caught sight of the gardener as he's leaving by the back way. You know when he'll be back? Oh, I have no idea. It's kind of a strange character. He comes and goes, you know. Well, I'll go down to the hospital and get Morton's key. And you stick around here and wait for the gardener. Well, Morton can't help you. No, he can't. He just died. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if you are. I'll be back as quickly as I can. If uh, the Morton girl comes, have her wait for me. Right. Well, that, that Trudy Morton, she's as sick as her uncle was. Maybe she is, and maybe she isn't. Look, I tell you, there's no point in waiting. He may not even come back tonight. He's like that, you know. I'm in no hurry. See, everything comes to those who wait. Wait. I'll go and tell him to come down myself. No, I'll go. Oh, the servant's wing is in the back upstairs. There's not much light in the hallway. Mr. Frank, I don't like being handled that way. I'm not talking as a policeman. I'll be careful.
that line it must be out of order I've been ringing for 10 minutes I'm certain someone is there thank you and call me right back you all right that's funny what where's lieutenant Boyle's car they probably parked it out of sight so they could catch Oliver off guard listen honey you've been through an awful lot tonight you know my folks would love to have you stay at our house well, thanks anyway, Johnny, but I'd rather get it over with now. They're probably waiting for us inside. Whatever you say. Wasn't that your phone? Why don't they answer? Beats me. Come on. got home nobody's here well he can't be far well have him call me as soon as you find him uh, something has come up at the office that's right at the office what was that all about that was lieutenant boyle johnny something's wrong he was calling for detective dillon <laughs> well don't be so mysterious there could be a dozen reasons why no one's here they're probably out by the pool come on we'll go find him Detective Dillon? Anyone up there? Johnny, the lab door. Well, that's probably where they are. Come on. Hello? 
Hello, Detective Dillon? Mr. Frank? <laughs> Satisfied now, you meddling kid? Trudy was right. Get out of the way! <laughs> Where's Detective Dillon? Oh, I'm afraid neither he nor Al Sue can be of any assistance to you now. She took care of them for me. You'll never get away with this. Look, let us go. He's crazy. He's completely insane. Is that insanity? Look at her. She lives. She obeys my every command. Oh, everything could have been so simple. But everybody's a meddling fool. You know, Trudy, you escaped me once. But I don't think you can do it again. Look, Oliver, let the girl go. You and I can settle this. You're hardly in a position to settle anything. Well, that's insanity. Well, we'll see. We'll show them. Hmm? Kill them! Look out for them! on fire through after that and it's all over my mistake. to love, honor, and obey and always drive my back? For better or for worse. Only you've got to promise to hold still. I will. I now pronounce you boy and girl. 
Say, I'm not uh, interrupting anything, am I? You can leave any time. Thanks, old man. Uh, don't mind him. He's just unsociable. He can afford to be. He's a hero. But this uh, overthought you might like the details. Oh, thanks a big million, but we don't want to hear any more about it. It's well, over. You must be kidding. You know, they found all the bodies, and the police have wrapped up all the details. And you know, that creep was really a descendant of that guy, Frankenstein? Look, you got no ears. We don't want to hear any more about it. Look, this is the biggest thing that ever happened to Brighton. And you don't want to talk about it. Man, you're all wet. I'm glad you said that, Don. Why? No. <laughs> no. No. Oh! All I want to do is read this. Oh, come on, at least pay attention. I could be drowning in here. Like I said before, you can leave any time. <laughs>